Hi everyone, uh, NZ Tech Freak here from Android NZ and today what I wanted to bring you was a very quick look and walk through uh, the first ice cream sandwich firmware leak for the Samsung Galaxy Note. Now, of course I'm holding the Samsung Galaxy Note in my hand, you can tell because my hand looks miniature and it's not actually that small. Uh, and so let's jump right in. Now first thing of course we want to try is face unlock and courtesy of Tom Cruise's image on the cover of Empire Magazine we're going to unlock the phone and there we go so it recognizes the image of Tom Cruise and unlocks the phone sort of just really demonstrating that face unlock while it works perfectly and has lots of novelty value isn't any more secure than it's been on any other device uh, what you're looking at here of course is ADW launcher rather than the stock TouchWiz launcher launcher if we jump right into settings you can see, I guess immediately, you know, you've got a gingerbread kind of battery icon here, Gordy TouchWiz icons here, um, and those are in keeping with what you would have seen before on the note, but the layout of settings has changed and it's in the ice cream sandwich, sandwich style with wireless and Bluetooth, etc. set at the top. If we jump down to the About Phone section, we can see that we are indeed on Android version 4.0.3. You'll also note here, that the model number is showing is the i9220 which of course is the Chinese version of the Note uh, this of course is the international GSM version and the reason it's running the Chinese one is that was the first leak that was available and yesterday Chainfire at XDA uh, repacked that one so we can install it on our international versions I note today that Sam Firmware has released a leaked version of the say, well, an earlier ice cream sandwich ROM uh, for the N7000 and that actually seems to have more issues than this one which has a build date a couple of weeks down the line from that so despite the fact that I'm running a Chinese version of the Note uh, firmware on here it does seem to be running better for most people than the actual N7000 one other things that you'll get from ice cream sandwich of course are being able to individually swipe away notifications persistent settings shortcut within notification tray uh, your ice cream sandwich task switcher and then of course all of those really lovely new versions of the ice cream sandwich stock G app so the really nice Gmail Google Maps YouTube and of course the calendar which we have seen before where you can pinch to zoom in on individual items and so forth so all of those things are there and really really nice now in terms of uh, performance have to say ice cream sandwich for the note is a considerable upgrade over the gingerbread roms uh, just general sort of navigation is much smoother really really smooth um, just that extra level of smoothness that you never had on gingerbread roms trying to run this 800p resolution screen so everything's just that much nicer here on ice cream sandwich other than general use of course we're all interested in benchmarks and I just took a screenshot some screenshots of a few of the benchmarks that I did earlier and if I can find them we'll bring them up so first of all this is one that I was quite pleased with Nina Mark which of course is a 3d graphics uh, benchmark has shown a considerable upgrade uh, from 32 frames per second on gingerbread ROMs to about 44 on ice cream sandwich and interestingly that's essentially equal to the graphics performance in Nina Mark II of the Asus Transformer Prime with its Tegra 3 system on a chip so uh, Samsung's Exynos is still holding its own very very well in the high-end Android hardware stakes other benchmarks of course we've got things like Antutu where I scored 5,700 I've seen other people scoring around the 6,000 mark and slightly over that's quite a bit less of course than the Transformer Prime um, and I guess that's because this isn't just looking at 3D graphics it's also looking at uh, various sort of CPU statistics and of course the quad core is always going to outstrip uh, the dual core in a benchmark that also incorporates those things uh, the Velamo score Pretty respectable at 997. I'd hope for a bit better seeing the score that the Tab 7.7 .7 got on Honeycomb, but we'll take that. It's a pretty good upgrade over the scores I was getting on Gingerbread. Now if you jump to Browser Mark to get an idea of browser performance, this is the stock ice cream sandwich browser. Pretty nice score. 
not as good as the Tab 7.7 or the Transform Prime, but nothing particularly to sneer at either. If we actually go to the Chrome browser beta for Android, you can see it actually scores quite a bit less, about 77,000. Now, of course, I've had this long enough to know that basically everything is working fine. I took a screenshot of GPS test info just to show working perfectly, as it always has done for the Note, and you can see that the GLONASS support, uh, satellite network is being supported here as well because we've got more satellites than I'd otherwise be able to see in my location on the American GPS network. Now, in terms of the browser uh, being one of your stock ice cream sandwich apps and quite an upgrade of the gingerbread browser, I mean, all of those things that you get are here. So you can request desktop sites, you can save pages for offline reading. In settings you can do some neat stuff like uh, inverting the rendering so that white becomes black and vice versa, which on these AMOLED screens is a great battery saver. But probably what people are more interested in is the Chrome Beta, and of course that's working here now that we're running Ice Cream Sandwich. And look, it's really nice. Um, definitely my preferred browser over the stock one in most respects, but in fact still lacking a few features that the stock one has, like that request for offline reading, request desktop site, and the inverted browsing. So it's certainly not all positives over the stock Ice Cream Sandwich browser, but there's a, there's a lot to like about this uh, Chrome Beta. Now in terms of issues, I mean there's, there's always going to be a few when you're flashing a firmware that's not designed explicitly for your phone onto your phone and it's an early beta leak and so forth. Um, to be honest, really, really very little here. Uh, I've had a couple of force closes and I actually think those weren't related to the ROM. That was trying to access some ADW activities uh, that linked to old setting screens that actually don't exist under Ice Cream Sandwich. So, as I say, I think that's more a problem with, with shortcuts pointing to things that aren't there any longer than anything wrong, particularly with Ice Cream Sandwich for the Note. Uh, really can only quibble with a few things like in the Ice Cream Sandwich browser, the URL bar is really dark, so you can't actually see what's been typed in there or see the address of the thing where you're at. Minor issue, um, but really everything's working so well here that I'm kind of left with uh, quibbling over minor things like that. I guess for my own personal use something that's a bit worse is the fact that Voodoo Louder doesn't work of course uh, because the phone is identified as the the i i9220 rather than the N7000 so once we get a ice cream sandwich leak for the N7000 that's on a par with this Chinese one and they currently aren't uh, then that will be fixed. So that's just a very brief look at Ice Cream Sandwich running on the Samsung Galaxy Note and hopefully you can see that this is a, a real upgrade over Gingerbread and it's running really really well. Uh, so that's all I had for today. Um, of course there will be a bit, of, bit more of a write up and some screenshots of all of this at the blog AndroidNZ.net so we'll catch you back there and see you back here again shortly. This is Tech Freak over and out.